This video presents the paper entitled Online Nonlinear Centroidal MPC for Humanoid Robot Locomotion with Step Adjustment, accepted for publication in ICRA 2022. When a disturbance acts on the robot, it may be necessary to recompute the contact location considering the robot state to prevent the robot from falling. This paper presents a nonlinear model predictive control for human robot locomotion with online step adjustment capabilities. The paper contributes toward the design of an MPC that generates contact location and branches for locomotion. The approach considers the centroidal dynamics model while keeping the problem still treatable online. We test the controller considering the centroidal dynamics for a one leg and two legs floating base systems. Results show that the proposed controller generalizes on the number of contacts. Finally, we embed the controller in a three-layer locomotion architecture and we validate it on the humanoid robot ICAB. The paper code is publicly available on GitHub. The dynamics of a system in contact with the environment can be decomposed into a joint dynamics and a centroidal dynamics. Considering the centroidal dynamics and a set of nominal contacts, the reduced model controller aims to generate feasible contact branches and location. The control problem is formulated using the model predictive control framework. The MPC formulation is obtained by solving an optimization problem composed by three main elements, the prediction model, an objective function, and a set of inequality constraints. The contact location dynamics and the central dynamics are considered as a prediction model. The objective function consists of a term that minimizes the error between the centroidal dynamics and the desired nominal trajectory. The function contains also a contact force and a contact location regularization terms. Finally, we ask for a feasible contact ranges and location. We validate the proposed control strategy on a simulation of a one-leg system performing a jumping task. Even if an external force acts on the system's central mass, the controller automatically compensates for the disturbance effect by adapting the location of the footsteps. We also tested the controller in the case of a two legs floating base system. The planet content sequence switches from a bipedal locomotion pattern to a running pattern. Furthermore, an external force acts on the robot's central mass. The MPC handles the transition from locomotion to running while dealing with this external disturbance effect. To validate the performances of the central MPC on human robots, we embed the controller into a three-layer controller architecture. The trajectory optimization layer generates the nominal contacts. The centroidal MPC computes the feasible contact branches and location. The whole body control loop evaluates the robot joint positions. Since the robot is in position control, it behaves rigidly when the external force is applied. Consequentially, the position of the central mass is not perturbed. To mitigate this effect, we consider the estimated external force as a measured disturbance in the MPC. We now present the step recovery capabilities of the wall architecture on the human robot ICAB. An external force acts on the robot's right arm. The force is estimated considering the force torque sensor mounted on the robot arms and the joint state. The MPC automatically compensates for the disturbance effect by adapting the location of the footsteps. Thanks for watching. If you are interested into the details of this work, please check out our paper and code.